है दिस इज मैथ्स भाई अमी है नाउ इट्स टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सॉल्यूशन पार्ट एंड द आंसर एंड द डेरिवेशन ऑफ दिस सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ज्योमेट्री चैलेंजर द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ सेडेड रीजन बाय सेमी सर्कल्स इफ रेडियस ऑफ बिगर सर्कल इज 7 यूनिट एंड वी हैव डायरेक्ट फार्मूला इज नथिंग बट पाई आर स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय 2 so we can say 22 by 7 if we consider pi is 22 by 7 into 7 square divided by 2 is nothing but 77 unit or we can say 49 by 2 pi is the answer of this question and this is only possible when we can understand how we get this value so my aim after this challenger is to let you know this one is the direct formula of this question and how this formula is coming from before understanding the formula the first thing you should understand is nothing but the congruency in a right angled triangle how two right angled triangles are congruent if their hypotenuse say abc is congruent to pqr if these two triangles are congruent it means their hypotenuse are the same ac is equal to pr or any relation we have 90 degree that means angle and the hypotenuse or any relation between ab and bc with the corresponding to the pq and pr then these are the congruent triangle if i say ab equal to pq then boss these are the congruent if i say ab is equal to qr the different relationship means this line is equal to this line then these should be the congruent pq should be equal to bc or even if i say ab plus bc is equal to pq plus qr even the summation of these two are the same and summation of these two are the same with ab bc then these two are the congruent and even if the ab minus bc difference is equal to pq minus qr difference so these two should be the congruent so we have relationship angle hypotenuse is the congruency form of the right angle triangle if your hypotenuse are the same with 90 degree since these are the hypotenuse and you have the relation between the other two sides and the same corresponding relation with the other two sides then we can say these two triangles are the congruent or the same okay so now we are going to use this in our figure first of all we need to do some construction let o is the center of the bigger circle points is ab mn say a is the value of say this point is p and a is the value of ap that is the radius of the semicircle and say this point is the q and the b is the radius of this another semicircle and join on and join oa since this one is the radius so we can say ap is equal to pb so we have nothing but 90 degree at both place if you bisect a chord then you have a 90 degree with the center so we have 90 degree now we need to prove apq and oqm are congruent how comes we know this one is the radius of the bigger circle so both are the same so we can say hypotenuse are the equal perfectly fine 90 degree perfectly fine now we need to find any relation between ap and po corresponding with the mq and oq if you find we have the equal relationship then we can say both are nothing but the congruent triangle i hope it is clear and if i prove this one and we can say both are the congruent triangle it means all the corresponding sides should be the same if this one is the r this one is the r if this one is the a we if prove if prove they are the congruent we could say oq is equal to a means from this side should be the this side and op is nothing but b but before this we need to prove the congruency see we have nothing but this point is say x so we can say px is nothing but a assume this point is a small m so po is a small m and what is the ap ap is a if we take the difference of a minus m and we get again the same difference here only then we can say both are the equal so we can say oq is nothing but a and op is nothing but b okay so what is mq mq is nothing but b minus if we get the subtraction we need to find oq since px is equal to a and 
ox is equal to b that is the radius so we can say pq is nothing but a plus b and po is m we are looking for the oq oq is nothing but a plus b that is complete pq minus m and just put a plus b minus m so this becomes mod m minus a and this one is nothing but a minus m so we can say the difference of the sides in the right angle triangles are same and we have common hypotenuse so these two triangles are nothing but the congruent so we can say this one is a this one is a because the congruency and this one is po is b this one is nothing but b so we can say if this one is b we can use nothing but the pythagoras theorem we can say the radius square plus radius square is the radius square this one is again one of the most important outcome and i'm trying to let you know each and everything in the lemon term okay so here we know if the radius is a radius is b and the total radius is r so we can say a square plus b square is equal to r square multiplying pi both the sides we can say pi a square plus pi b square is nothing but pi r square dividing 2 we can say area of semicircle plus area of semicircle is nothing but the area of semicircle we can say the shaded region area is nothing but pi r square by 2 so this one is the outcome so if you have any doubt i would say please rewind the video understand it again and still if you have any doubt i would say feel free to ping me on either facebook or whatsapp or telegram or in this youtube channel okay so i would say stay tuned for the next challenger and their solution okay thanks bye happy learning and god bless you